Our region's publicly traded corporations have made some progress in improving the diversity of their boards of directors, but more can be done. And the Pittsburgh 2020 Women on Boards Initiative is teaming up with the inaugural African American Directors Forum to make just that point. The goal is to close the gap compared to the rest of the nation when it comes to African American on boards and to accelerate recent progress in opening doors for women. Christy Uffelman is managing partner with Align Leadership and Pittsburgh Chair of 2020 Women on Boards. And David Motley is co-founder and managing partner of Blue Tree Venture Fund and founder of the African American Directors Forum. And welcome, good to see you both. Good, good morning, morning, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so Christy, you're back uh, several years now. We've been following this effort to get more, more and more women on corporate boards. I understand the event's coming up this week, so yes. you're going to have your big unveil, I would assume, then. But are we making progress? Or are you chipping away at it? Absolutely. Well, what I will say is, um, and it should come as no surprise to Pittsburghers, but Pittsburghers are really leading the charge. <laughs> We've been at 20% um, women on boards for the last couple of years here in Pittsburgh. Um, but 2020 looks nationally, and a lot of the other regions still have to catch up. Wow, it's good to hear though that we've been in kind of a leadership position. That's, that's great, that's good Good for Pittsburgh. How about on the African American side, David? What's, what's the circumstance there when it comes with pro representation on corporate boards? It is a very different story. <laughs> Lots of great things happening in the city of Pittsburgh, but specific to the representation that African Americans have been able to achieve, not only in the boardroom, but also in the C-suites, there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, African Americans are underrepresented nationally on boards and in the city of Pittsburgh they're even further underrepresented. Roughly 8% of board positions are held nationally by African Americans and an estimate of the representation of Pittsburgh is somewhere under 5%. Um, the more troubling part of that is that those numbers nationally are declining and we have a lot of work to do to make sure we don't give up the ground that we've gained. Wow, and I guess it is something you have to work at. I mean, the trend line, is, at least for women, has been concerned, seems to be pretty positive. Well, it is, and for a lot of initiatives like 2020 Women on Boards, um, you know, the focus has been there, the attention has been there. Now, we at 2020 focus on Fortune 1000 company boards. Mm -hmm. So if you look and you backtrack through that into the smaller company boards, as well as private company boards, we still have a long way to go. Okay, and how about your initiative? Are you really focusing on the bigger publicly traded companies or kind of across the board? Looking at publicly traded companies, um, that's really where the, the opportunity to try and make a difference at scale is. And if you look at those numbers, roughly speaking, there are 5,000 corporate directors of publicly traded companies um, in the United States. A ballpark number for um, those positions for African Americans is something under 500, so in that 400 and change range. And the, the interesting opportunity there is that with that kind of upside, there's a lot of room for progress to be made. So we're hoping that um, our event on the 15th is going to be able to take um, three or four um, opportunities here in Pittsburgh and put the right people in the right place with the right people looking for directors and, and make something happen. And this is an invitation only event, right? But you got CEOs from Pittsburgh companies and you're bringing in African American executives from all over the country for this, right? We were really, thrilled with the response we got from two stakeholder groups. One was from the African American executives from around the country. Uh, we went out and looked for people who were clearly equipped to serve on boards, um, ready, proven, can step in and deliver value from day one. That is the bulk of the attendees at the event. We have a very small cohort of people that we're labeling as board ready. Um, those individuals have significant exposure and experience with respect to governance models and strategies, um, the dynamics in the boardroom, and uh, those individuals um, will help build that pipeline for the next group of um, African Americans to send into the boardroom. And uh, the people that are coming are C-suite level people with C-suite level executives with brand name companies from around the country. That is uh, really exciting stuff. How about your event, uh, Chrissy, that's coming up this week? Uh, so our audience is a bit different. Yeah. We, um, I'm very pleased to say that we've been sold out for the last two months. There are two, so. two events coming up <laughs> nobody can get into right now. You're sold out. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, uh, but the event is always the Thursday before before Thanksgiving each year. Yeah. So we're telling people to reserve reserve now <laughs> for 2018. Um, but our audience is 75% C-suite and 25% mid-career high potential. And we are hopeful that we'll have 25% men in the room. <laughs> um, this is not an event specifically focused um, on an audience of women leaders, but we really want to invite and encourage men to be a part of the conversation. Well, and I would think men, and especially white men, still hold a lot of the buttons, I guess, in terms 
terms of who gets seriously considered for boards, right? Uh, absolutely. Well, when you look at, um, you know, the national statistics on boards, men are, um, you know, 70 percent, 75 percent of every board, pretty much. And, um, you know, PwC has a statistic that always blows my mind every time I see it, and it's that 90.3, so 90.3 percent of all board seats are filled through relationships with current board members. Wow. And so if that's the board makeup and that's the typical you know we tend to have networks of people that look and feel and act a lot like us and so that's really a focus of our event at the um, 2020 women on boards but also with David's event is how do we intentionally create the space and build those networks yeah, David that sounds like you're really trying to begin to build these relationships it sounds like. spot on what, what Christy said is really at the, the center of what we're trying to accomplish with the African American Directors Forum. We're trying to put the CEOs, NOMGov chairs, the chairman of the board of Pittsburgh-based publicly traded companies in the room with people who are qualified to fill those slots. So to deal with that issue of path of least resistance is you reach out to people that you know. You reach out to people who are known by your board and if you stop there, you're not very likely to move the needle on diversity and inclusion at the board level. And the implication of not making progress at the board is that that then begins to shape what happens further down in the pyramid in the organization. If you can build a beachhead at the top, it creates a pathway at the bottom for diversity and inclusion objectives to be achieved. Well, important work for both of you. Great success this week and on into the future. Christy Uffelman, uh, 2020 Women on Boards, and uh, David Motley from the African American uh, Directors Forum. Thank you both so much. Appreciate it. You're Thank welcome. you. welcome. Next up, an opening, an anniversary, and the upcoming holiday season. There's a lot going on in Pittsburgh's Cultural District. Stay with us.